finally i mean i have made the decision and Charlie, very painful that one would have to come to the conclusion that you'd have to leave your country before you'd be able to make it yes i have come to that conclusion i have this friend very good friend of mine okay, who has been telling me that oh don't smart Charlie. let's leave this country because there is no future here and i was like oh i mean it's possible but Charlie, now they have made a decision and come to the conclusion and i'll explain now if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been watching me always as usual thank you and yes please don't forget to like this video comment as well share this video and very important to me subscribe yes ah yesterday yes we all know it was fair july and it's a very happy day in the lives of Ghanaians. if you're Ghanaian, you know ghana got her republic day on the first of july 1960 after we getting our independence on sixth march 1957. i woke up and it was like i checked the news in jali very bad news and no one is talking about it Ghanaians are happy about it we have just accepted it as, it as normal no this is not normal because how can you tell me that in just a space of i mean a few years this government has introduced so many taxes so yesterday are you aware that i mean the price of light or electricity went up the price of water also went up and the water itself is not even flowing since last year of where i live the water is not flowing back then it used to flow like two times in a week and the one said if it comes i mean at dawn they've also increased the price of um lpg the price of petrol has gone up the price of diesel and Ghanaians are quiet about it i mean no one is talking about it has this government done juju to i mean the people because everyone is okay with it and they're looking at these idiots suppressed Ghanaians. all they came to do is to make Ghanaians poor yes even the middle class are now poor people and everyone is quiet can you why i mean make this make sense to me how on earth can you tell me that gary yes we look about one yes i mean i bought one last two weeks and it was 28 ghana cities like, make this make sense to me before then i bought it at 22 okay and usually gary i mean it goes to about 15 cities 17 cities i bought one at 28 ghana cities yes you know um this rice um 5 kg millicent it used to be around 60 70 and then last month i bought one for 87 last week i bought one for 97 everything is going up crazily the currency keeps depreciating Ghanaians are quiet about it meanwhile this is the same people those these useless criminals and government who were like i mean the s government were incompetent in that when they come into office they'll do better they've even done worse and Ghanaians are looking at them are Ghanaians drunk are we tim i mean for me yes i think Ghanaians are very timid people hypocrites and tribal by gods because imagine it being the ndc doing what these useless people are doing I mean, they will be protested everywhere and come to think of it i mean are Ghanaians not seeing what the kenyans are doing since last two weeks the kenyan people yes the youth they have been supported by their parents by the churches by the courts by the lawyers to protest yes they've been protesting since last two weeks now last two weeks they protested four times in a week last week the same thing four times in a week today too they've continued because if you do not i mean rise up to the african politician they would make sure that you become very poor while they become very rich they enrich themselves they steal from you they enrich their family they enrich their kids their kids children they enrich their great grandchildren i mean they create generational wealth for themselves while they make the ordinary citizen suffer yes i mean kenyans have risen to the occasion i've seen that the african politician is a hardcore hardened criminal and if you do not rise to him or if you do not rise to them they'll make sure that they kill you yes before your time while they enjoy so i mean william Ruto, who is the president of kenya before he came into office was bragging saying that when he comes into office he would reduce taxes he comes into office and he has doubled and even tripled taxes so i think um last two weeks there about yes before july he and his criminal people wanted to i mean introduce more taxes and then the people were like no we would not accept that because you came to kill us if you introduce these more taxes people are going to die and since then they have been protesting against the government and they and since they've done that i mean the government 
the criminal president William Ruto has dropped a finance bill which he wanted to introduce to tax the, the people the more. Like, make this make sense to me. Meanwhile, he and his people are enjoying not paying. I mean, even, even though they are, they, they might be paying tax, but they are paying themselves huge sums of money, and so they do not go through what the ordinary citizen goes through. So, the people mostly made of Gen Z's were like, no, we will not let this criminal of a president, I mean, and his people into these taxes. And again, because they are rather enjoying spending money, lavishing money anywhere, anyhow, and then you are taxing the people. So I think Ghanaians are very timid people, okay? And Ghanaians need to rise to the occasion. I think we need to do a demonstration of one month. Yes, I think like a few months ago, there's a name, um, Oliver Bakam, former war. He was like, I mean, they wanted to organize another demonstration in December for one month. P people thought that, oh, I mean, it was crazy. No, no, actually, he had a point. Let me state this. One thing I don't support about this Kenyan protest is that, I mean, they, were, they are burning and destroying things. That's the only thing that I don't support. But then the fact that they came out to demonstrate, okay? Because if you do not do that, the African president, as I mentioned earlier, is a hardened, hardcore criminal who does not care about you and all he cares about is his family and himself and his party people. Yes, so they did very well by coming out. And I'll bring you stories on that because, I mean, these people need not go scot free. You need to match them boot for boot. Yes, because they don't care. So now let me end it. I mean, this is just the beginning of the Kenyan issue and what is really happening in Ghana. And so let me know what you think. Okay, for me, I think that this criminal government led back for them, I mean, Ghanaians need to protest one month continuously every day for them to, I mean, stop taxing us too much. Take away the e levy. And now, remember that they told us that, oh, I mean, though, when they bring the e levy, I mean, everything will be solved. Little did we know that, I mean, that would not go anywhere. They told us that, I mean, when they introduced the e levy, they, would, they wouldn't even go to the IMF. They introduced the e levy a few days or weeks later. They went to the IMF. And Ghanaians were are still quiet about it. It's a criminal government led by a criminal president who keeps lying, both. All his appointees keep lying to Ghanaians. And, I mean, they see themselves as doing us a favor. Nah, bro. We can't continue as these people. So, I think Ghanaians need to learn from the Kenyan people. We need to go to the streets and demonstrate peacefully. Because the African president, Akufado, does not care about anyone. All he cares about is his family and his party people. These are just runs. I think Ghanaians need to emulate what the Kenyans are doing. Yes, now let me end there. See you in my next video. Again. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. See you in my next video. Bye.